Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome back to Abandoned Map Adventures. It is part two of our Cheshire adventure in 1830, according to the map of Andrew Bryant. Now, we are now looking at the top right-hand corner of Cheshire, the northeast of Cheshire. Um, so let's have a cheeky look at what Cheshire looked like in 1830. So this is how far it got north. Um, so we've got the other half of the word Appley Irwell here. And um, it continues up this way. Let's see how high we can go towards Manchester. Um, so we get up to... Where we are? Where are we? Carrington Moss. Well, I don't know where I am in relation to... Oh, this is the part that goes up in towards the Peak District, doesn't it? Stady Bridge. There we go. I know where I am now. Um, Ashton, Ashton on the line. There we go. Wow, it's, I thought that was... I swear that was with a Y. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm confusing with the on the line. I don't know. The spelling could have changed in 200 odd years. 190 years. Where am I? Where am I now? I'm heading up towards Tin Whistle. So could we get Glossop on here? Because Glossop is right on the edge, isn't it? So is Glossop actually on this map? No, because I swear Glossop was Derbyshire, but Tinsel, Tint Whistle, very up near that area. Got Yorkshire coming up here. Look, very big Yorkshire. Home Moss, Hayden Clough. There's a whole lot of nothing up here. Sight of Buckton Castle. Look at that. You can see the Bailey. Wonder where that is now. I should probably do some fades, shouldn't I, over uh, modern maps, but uh, no, this is just a look at the old map. If you want to do anything specific, we'll do some fancy fades in a whole other video. I just want to have a look at the old maps in this and see if I find anything interesting to make a video about. This is the, I'm basically just um, recording my research at this point, but hey, I'm finding it interesting. So might you. Staley Bridge looks like quite a big town. Let's have a zoom in of a town here. So we've got the canal going through the middle of the town. The 1830s, we're going to having a railway go through your town, I guess. And there's also a river. Uh, got a church here, the little cross. Got another church here. Got a factory. Follow it. Got Duckin Field or Dukin Field. Half Moon Pub. St. Peter's. Ashton on the line. Uh, no Ikea yet, I'm afraid. Uh, to Mosley. There we go. Look, another church there. Uh, I'm guessing the crosses mean different kinds of churches. Uh, oh, that looks like a railway. That is a very, very blurry looking little railway. Do you see the sleepers there? It's a little, like, tramway line. Oh, there's another one here, look. Going to Pete's Furnace, Peter Burfurness. So that's taking some raw material from here to a harbour or something, to Newton on the Willows. Yeah, there's another one there. Oh, there's got loads down here. Look, they're all going to the canal. Oh, right, they're canal feeder lines. They're taking things to the canal. That explains it. So, yes, okay, so we've got the canal here. With lots of little railways coming off it. I wonder if there's any more down here. That's neat. Um, taking things to and from the canal. We'll get down. If you keep following down like this, we'll get to Pointon at some point. Uh, marple here. Oh, oh, Marple, seven, 1830. That might be the, the Marple tramway might be on here. Now, many would think the tramway would continue down to the canal on this side, but it's actually crossed over, and you can just about still see the alignment. So in between this wall here and that wall there, the tramway crossed over the crossed over the canal and carried on down the other side, which is sadly now just trees, and it would have come across the other side of the road and down that alleyway, which is now a driveway. So I'm on the other side of the canal. Um, everyone else is on that side. I've, I've, I've left the group. And this is the old tramway, and this heads all the way down to the bridge. Yeah, so I was a gen on the move and um, rail focus, and that's when we visited the Marple Tramway that was built in the 1790s, but I think it was ripped up by 1811, so that was long gone by the time this map came into existence. So that's that's been and gone. No wonder it's not appearing. Uh, we'll continue down and see if there's anything else that branches off the uh, the canal, though. This is interesting here. Yeah? Where's it going? Yeah, I can see EST, I can rest... Oh, oh, it's been saying Peak Forest the whole way. Look, P-E-A-K-F-O-R-E-S-T, Peak Forest Canal, which means it might have the Peak Forest Tramway at one end. There's another one here, Broad Haycock. Oh, it's here. I've been there. Hello, and I'm stood at the top end of an old railway. What's new? Well, today I'm in Furnace Vale. There's also a turnpike road down there that was constructed in 1804 and at the time that was built it was conscious of the railway. 
so the construction of the railway is sometime between 1796 and 1804. It's a forest now. There we go, it wasn't a great one, but I have been there. And the Peak Forest Canal, tramway, whatever, let's just start here, there we go. Uh, so Cromford and High Peak Railway going from Whaley Bridge. Uh, do I do I insert another video here for Whaley Bridge? Uh, you know it. Here's the Whaley Bridge video. Well, here's a bit of it anyway. I don't want to do the whole video. If you want to see these videos, click on the description for the whole thing. But yeah, here's a little bit of the Whaley Bridge video where I visit this tiny piece of tramway. It's a rail. It's nice. Crunch. And there we are. So, um, yeah. I don't want to keep making these videos longer, but I've got content, may as well use it. Park, point, point, point and hall? Point and had a hall? Where's... No, 1830, Prince's Incline wouldn't even be a thing yet. 1839 was when the first major railway came to Poynton, so... Yeah, there won't even be the tramways in Poynton yet, because there's one built in the 1790s, but I don't know where that actually was. So yeah, Poynton's actually railwayless at this point, wow. That's unique. Uh, let's go down to, yeah, there's Poynton. That'd be the junction. So the Prince's Incline, if anything, would be around here somewhere. Uh, it would branch off from where the railway comes in. Let's see if we can find where the railway would go. Adlington. So it would come up here. And it would probably be the, here. So I'm guessing where it goes through Lower Park, following where basically where the fold is is where Prince's Incline would end up being in the future. Or it'd be slightly further down. I can't tell. There's so much has changed. Um, yeah, Wood Lane. I've been there. Wood Lane. Wow. Um, we're getting towards Adlington here. Adlington Hall. We know about that. Um, if we keep going south, I'll end up back at Macclesfield again. There's Tithington Hall. That's long gone. There's Tithington itself. Spelt differently. It's with a Y now. And we've reached the town of Macclesfield. Obviously, this is pre-railway. Uh, Macclesfield Railways came in 1845, so we're a good 15 years before the railways even attempted to come to Mac. So there's nothing there. There'll be nothing going over towards Buxton at all. There'll be no railways up here. Um, because, they, well, they, yeah, <laughs> there were no railways in many places, so there would be no um, Buxton line either. Um, yeah, let's go over this way a little bit. I'm running out of time. I'm mumbling, but yeah, this is the, this is a sort of thing, you can just get so lost in these maps, and you can't escape, <laughs> once you start looking deeper, and you, at some point we need to call it, and I think we've had a pretty good look at a canal and some railways, um, this is just rambling, but I do hope you enjoy what I enjoy, which is looking at the old maps, and hearing my train of thought, if, if you like that sort of thing, so, if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. Um, join me next week when we look at the south end of Cheshire. There's two of them, so it could be southeast or southwest. And we will have a look and see what we can find there. But this has been the northwest of Cheshire, Cheshire, county of Chester, whatever, in 1830. Um, thank you very much, and I'll see you next week. I don't have that kind of time, so we're going to do it in sections over the course of like three years. I don't know. I, I don't want to make plans, because plans fall through. Plans are bad. I need to do the outro. I actually no. I need to not stop. I need to stop talking. Goodbye. Oh no! Now I'm vlogging. Ah!